this is uh, Jenna Lynn and I'm Jeanette. Uh, the two of us have both been here at Sipperstein Dermatology for quite some time, so we've experimented a lot of things together. But this one happens to be one of the most exciting new things that we've done together. Um, I'm going to introduce microneedling with Secret RF. So this means radio frequency that's going to be combined with microneedling. Now, microneedling has been around for years. We've heard a lot about microneedling in the past, such as skin pen, derma pen. Those machines are great, however, they don't infuse heat. So the secret RF is going to infuse radio frequency. So with each time the needles go into the skin, I'm going to be releasing heat into gentle and skin. She's going to give us some feedback as we do this. We're going to do different sections with different depths and intensity. Because gentle does have some olive in her skin, she's considered a Fitzpatrick 4. I'm going to use a tip today that is insulated, which means as the needles go in, only the very bottom of the needles are going to get warm, releasing that heat into the skin. So you might ask yourself, well, why would I want to do the Secret RF versus microneedling, which I've done in the past? Good question. So as we put needles in the skin and we release heat, we're creating a bigger injury, which means bigger results, bigger uh, collagen. So a lot of times I get asked, well, Jeanette, why would I do microneedling with radio frequency when I've done Dermapen in the past with you? And that's a great question. Um, I like to talk about a scale um, with results, downtime, and of course your budget. So the Secret RF is kind of um, like about a third of the way on of our scale. And the scale means how much results do we want, how much downtime, and, and of course, how much is this going to cost. So the Secret RF is going to be a little bit more intense than just regular microneedling. Again, it's releasing heat. So we're going to create more collagen. We're going to have a better effect on anti-aging patients, such as Jenalyn. Jenalyn is in her 40s. She's looking to what can she do to, to help... Um, improve her skin without having downtime. She works every day with patients. She can't afford to have downtime. So with the Secret RF, we can do small injuries and we can do incremental treatments without a lot of downtime. And the beauty of this treatment is there's really no blood involved. The heat that we're going to infuse in general in skin after the needles go in coagulates any heat, I mean, I'm sorry, any blood. So then there's no downtime. You might look a little puffy under the eyes depending upon how intense we go and those are questions that you can ask your patient. How intense do I want to go? Well, how much results do you want? Does she have fine lines and wrinkles? Does she just want to have maintenance to revitalize her skin to keep her skin looking very um, smooth? Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Right now, Jenalyn's been numbing for about 45 minutes, so I'm going to start removing that sections at a time. I like to introduce what we're going to use today. This is, a not, this is an insulated tip and it has 64 needles in it. So I like to show everybody that we, we do not ever reuse tips. So we're gonna open this up and then we're going to apply it to this. So we now have um, all the numbing gel removed from Jenna Lynn. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We've got our needle connected and we're gonna start off with her forehead and work our way down. Now, because Jenna Lynn doesn't have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, we're really gonna treat her for maintenance, more for prevention. However, if you do have fine lines and wrinkles, we can enhance the treatment by going up in intensity and of course the depth. But the beauty about this treatment is we can adjust any of our settings according to the skin type. This isn't taking away from filler, full laser resurfacing, and of course if you have deep, deep lines and wrinkles, this treatment is probably not for you. This is more for somebody who wants to do preventative work, who doesn't want a lot of downtime, and really just wants to maintain good health to the skin to slow that aging process down. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with Jillian's forehead, okay? Jillian, how you feeling? Good, All getting right. them and ready. So this is our hand piece, and I just wanna show everybody how this works. And I'm just gonna do a test. Go ahead and get it going. So we're gonna start on Jillian's forehead. I'm gonna slow that down a little bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and just give her a test spot. Jillian, here we go. Okay. How did that feel? That's okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go two passes completely across each area. Like I said, each area is done twice. And because we have 64 needles, I'm able to really give her a lot of overlay. So she's gonna have a lot of nice collagen growing in here soon. So Jenalyn did great. We've already done one full pass on her forehead. And as you can see, she's getting a little bit of redness here. Um, but we always want to do two passes. So the next one we're going to do is not going to be quite as intense. So she can relax a little bit. We're going to take our depth a little bit 
more shallow, so we can hit a little bit of uh, the skin in every layer. We're not just treating one layer, we're treating multiple layers. And we're gonna do the same thing throughout her face. So we're gonna demonstrate each way, and then we're also gonna treat part of her neck. Again, a lot of the treatment we're doing today is prevention, but we're also gonna help a little bit with some of the uneven texture that Jenilyn has right here. So let's get started with number two. So Jenilyn, this is not as intense, right? The correct. first one was a little bit more intense, yes. correct? Yes. Okay, stop. So as the treatment progresses, Jenilyn's gonna start feeling a little bit of heat. So I've given her a Zimmer, which is gonna help blow some cold air. So she, one, she's more relaxed. Two, she's a little bit more comfortable. So one of the areas that people talk to me a lot about that they're really concerned is usually the upper lip and the eyes. So I'm gonna demonstrate what we do underneath the eyes. So I'll be pulling down. Now again, this is an insulated tip, so the heat's only going at the bottom of the needle. So we've already treated around Jenilyn's mouth. You can see she's starting to get a little bit of swelling around the eye, which is great. That's what the magic is. That's what helps stimulate pollen. So now we're going to treat this area here. So we're going to start off the lower neck. This area really isn't that painful. This area is a little bit easier to take care of. But again, this is very little downtime, and you're gonna take care of this with just gentle cleanser, minimal makeup the next day. You're gonna to wanna to just put a good moisturizer on and a good sunblock, stay out of the sun, try to keep it protected. But really, um, very little downtime, so Jenilyn will be able to go to work tomorrow with no problem. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll do our second pass. So as you can see, the needles are going directly in the skin, so there's no scratching or tearing the tissue, so therefore really, you know, no trauma to the top layer of the skin, just uh, some heat and energy going in the skin where the collagen is actually Create it. So, Jenilyn, we're almost done. I know she's feeling this right now. Good job. So, now we're almost done. So, we're just going to treat a little bit of the area here where people complain about losing a little elasticity. So, we're just going to do a little strip down Jenilyn's neck and then she's all done. And she's not in terrible discomfort. She's somewhat comfortable at this point. The worst part is over, which is usually around the lip and the, and the eye area that we do most of our correction. How are you feeling, gentlemen? Good. Neck is not bad at all. You know, anytime we're injuring the skin, whether it's intentional or not, our bodies just want to produce collagen. So that's exactly what we're doing right now is we're making lots of collagen. So I usually do two full passes of the neck. And as you can see, Jenilyn's starting to turn red. You can actually see some of the marks where it was, and that's what we want to see. We want to see that edema kicking in. That's the magic in this. So Jenilyn is now done. She has completed this. So we're just going to uh, put a little bit of uh, hyaluronic serum on her and send her out. There is one trick. You cannot go out and about after this. We have little tiny microscopic needles that have made holes. So you need to go home because you can't put sunscreen on for up to four to six hours because we want all those little tiny holes to, to close up so you can't get bacteria in it. We don't want to put anything on there that could cause you to break out. So we always recommend hyaluronic acid, very simple serum, and go indoors and wait about four to six hours before you want to put sunscreen on. Look forward to seeing you. Bye.